Donnellan. Donnellan driving a 2007 Lola B07. Eighth row, 47B, full, Phil Mulichek in the Ford GT40 Mark II. We'll have to see if that car makes it out. He had an issue earlier in the Enduro that we had. And the six of Dan Cowdery in his Lola T70 Mark II. Car number two, Roy Hillenberg is shown in row, row number nine. Hillenberg in a Spec Racer Ford. The five of Chris McAllister in the Golf Mirage is alongside. Tenth row, the 83 of Vincent Dean in a 1961 Lotus 19B with Buick power. Car number nine, Bill Simer in a Lotus 23. And final car in the grid, car number 59, and that is, uh, looks like that'll be Wade White that is driving that car today. And there's Cliff White in the number 58. So not sure if we're, and it looks like we're going to get both of them. So Cliff and Wade. Wade in the 59, Cliff in the 58. And that gets us all set up for this race. Again, it's eight laps for race groups five and seven. For those of you that uh, need to get from one point to another quickly, we'd like to acquaint you with another of our corporate partners, and that is NetJets. NetJets, your private aviation provider. As we get a start in the 94 of John Harold, jets into the lead, headed down towards turn one. Looks like the 58 from uh, the 58 to start from Pitt Road. And the 47 of uh, Glenn Jividen, or excuse me, that I'm not sure if that's right or not. The Ford GT40 at any rate has made it to the grid. And that is Phil Mulichek, Mulichek in the 47B. Just coming out there in the picture up on the big screen. Here's your leader, Harold. John Harold in the number 94 Chevron B36, followed by the 05 of Peter McLaughlin. And the 18 of Tom Lemkuel, our second group, gets the green flag. And it looks like it's a pretty even drag race down to turn number one with the five of Chris McAllister getting the uh, advantage there, first into the corner, followed by the Lola. And that is the number six of Dan Cowdery. Cowdery and a Lola T70 Mark II. Look for McAllister in that uh, Golf Mirage to check out, although you've got to keep an eye on Cowdery because he doesn't want him to get away. Yeah, 50, yeah. 50. There's almost about a three-and-a-half-second three uh, difference in qualifying between those two vehicles. Yeah, it'll probably be a short race, but a race nonetheless. 94, John Harold, your overall leader. And a good race with the sports racers. As they go through turn six, head down the back stretch. 94, your leader, John Harold, running second the 05 of Peter McLaughlin. 05A Rob Sherwood, the 18 of Tom Lemkuel, and the 7 of Ralph LaMacha complete your front five, and that is in group seven. For the group five cars, your front runner is the 5 of McAllister, followed by the 6 of Cowdery, 83 Vincent Dean picking up a spot, the 2 of Roy Hillenberg, and uh, 59 Wade White complete the top five.
That Golf Mirage is sure a pretty car. It certainly is, and of course, uh, those colors are certainly iconic in sports car racing, dating back to the mid-1960s with the GT40s and continuing on with uh, John Wire and his group with the 917s up until the Mirages and up until the mid-70s. Drivers like Jackie Eeks, David Hobbs, Jackie Oliver, Brian Redman, all the way up to Vern Schupen. Some of the best in uh, sports car racing for sure. The two of Roy Hillenberg in that black and white spec racer Ford trying to distance himself from that little battle with uh, one of the whites and also the Lotus 19B of Vincent Dean. Dean now coming up to challenge and takes the spot as they head down the front straight into turn one. It's a number 383. Lotus 19B with Buick power. Forty seven B Mullichek in the GT forty. Yeah, whatever issue they had in uh, the Enduro, they were able to get it repaired and made the grid. Doesn't seem like it hurt anything, that's for sure. Another drag race down the front straight, the 54 and the uh, 50, or the 34. 34 is Glenn Bryant. And McAllister continues in that golf mirage. He's a bit of the mirage to the cameraman, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chris McAllister is your leader in race group five, the uh, sports racer class. In group seven, it's the 94 of John Harold. And there goes the Mirage past the number 34 of Bryant. And we'll probably make short order of this whole group of cars, including the 47B of Mullichek. Although Mullichek is hard on it, too. Uh, no match for that Gulf Mirage as he comes down and uh, sets up for turn one. Here goes the 34 ducking out of the draft and taking that corner away from the number 30 of David Hale. Fastest race lap, that honor goes to the number five Gulf Mirage of Chris McAllister. 
a one minute 30.014, 97 miles an hour around the Indianapolis road course. Second quick is the uh, 94 of John Harold, a 133.447, 93 miles an hour. Five laps complete, working la up six, and a total of eight laps for this race. Race group six to pre-grid, please. Group six to pre-grid. Your overall leader, the 94 of John Harold, crossing the stripe one more time, beginning lap number seven. in the uh, 1978 Chevron B36. Running second in that race, the 05 of Peter McLaughlin. McLaughlin having a good run earlier today in the Enduro in his 1983 March. And that is the number six of Dan Cowdery just picking up a spot, moving into 15th overall. And second in the race group five competition. Your leader in group five, Chris McAllister, car number five in the uh, blue and orange Golf Mirage. The six of Dan Cowdery runs second in group five. And third in class, the 58 of Cliff White. Top three in group seven, the 94 of John Harold, the 05 of Peter McLaughlin, and the 18 of Tom Lemkiel in the Carbeer Sports 2000. There goes your group five leader, the blue and orange mirage it's interesting that Chris McAllister's best time in the race today was a half a second under his qualifying time oh taking the takes the racing a bit more seriously Not the best weather to work on your tan this afternoon, but I'm sure a lot of the drivers driving in with the heavy coveralls and whatnot, flame retardant helmet, head sock, they do not mind this weather at all. And Checkered I'm sure flag. I'm sure the cars like it as well. A little bit easier on them when the weather's a bit cooler. Checkered flag is out. And it waves for the number 94 of John Harold, the Chevron B36. With second going to the 05 of Peter McLaughlin, 
Third, the 18 of Tom Lemkule. The 05A of Rob Sherwood. And the that wraps up your front four in Group 7. Completing the top five, he finished sixth overall, the 6A of Jack Donnellan. We've still got cars coming in to uh, be scored for Group 5, but we do know who the winner is, and that is car number five, the Golf Mirage of Chris McAllister. And we should be able to settle who finishes second. That is the six of Dan Cowdery as the winner. John Harold takes his victory lap and cool down lap. He'll show up here at victory circle. So it's Cowdery in the six finishing second to the five of McAllister. And in third, the 58 of Cliff White. Fourth, the two of Roy Hillenberg. And the 83 of Vincent Dean completing the top five in group five. Group six is coming up, race group six. And there's a great shot of the number five golf mirage of Chris McAllister. On the monitor, that orange almost pops a little more because of the overcast skies. Oh, yeah. What really looked cool for, was for the speedway when they had a long shot and you had that overcast sky, it really made the, it made the speedway almost look 3D. 